there. Yeah, Tecto. This is gonna take a while. Tecto knows about that. That so called tournament that took like fucking seven hours with 19 people. Because people don't fucking listen. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I get to be all angry and shit. Oh, yeah, also there's a $20,000 prize pot in here, but uh, only if we get enough people. Gotta get 32 people, man. Yeah, there's a $20,000 prize pot for this tourney, but only if we get 16 Smash players to sign up. Hello, I'm back. Oh, wow. Um... Grover going for a Yosuke, uh, he does actually sub Yosuke, and this is probably an amazing choice for him, fighting a Kanji online. I definitely, uh, this is definitely one of Kanji's hardest matches. Um, due to his poor movement options and the fact that his lightning being about 35 frames startup, full screen, there's very little he can do to actually stop Yosuke from doing whatever he wants to do. If he catches him, he can end him in two good mix-ups, but that involves catching him, which he has successfully done and catches the no tech, but yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, salty bet dollars too. You know, say getting that ground bounce on his uh, run B, letting him uh, combo into kunai safely. Anytime he doesn't get that ground bounce, he has to go for the work. Uh, the lower combo. Um, a lot of Japanese Yosuke's have actually switched to going for a more reset style play, but uh, Grover's just sticking with getting the damage. Probably a very good idea versus Kanji. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much fear going on in this match right now. <laughs> And Grover takes it. Yeah. And like I said, if my microphone's picking up anything else, uh, just let me know. Yeah, I think, unfor you know, unfortunately for my opinion, I think more people said they wanted to do the quote-unquote Pokemon style. We just have to decide what to do for, um, we just have to decide what to do in terms of a tie. Which will be like, uh, you know, uh, you yeah. know, player one fights uh, player B or player A fights player two, basically. Yeah, just look like that. We'll just like have to players, figure out how to decide that. Like if it goes one, one, one. Have the players who didn't fight each other fight. I'm going to say with can't switch just because uh, counterpicking, like, fuck you, kid. You're going to do that to me otherwise. <laughs> Yo, where's my stick? Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Fucking screen went on. The screen dimmed in order to protect the screen because I haven't done anything in like 15 minutes. I was like, oh, God. Okay. Uh, Shadow Labras Yosuke? Um, honestly, not sure who this is in advantage of. Uh, Shadow Labras being quite a uh, paralyzing matchup, considering that, uh, according to Japanese play, in my own opinion, she it's actually 6 4 Kanji being one of his only positive matchups, so you know it's going to be wonky for some people. Um, in Japanese play, though, I am familiar with the fact that uh, Yosuke's much prefer to. Uh, Ooh, getting caught by the DP there. Just stay out and dash in whenever the bull is uh, left in because uh, 2C is very, very annoying for them to glide in through. Or 2C. Yeah, 2C, sorry. Ooh. 
doing an OMC on his run cancel there in order to get a safe 50-50 mix-up and saving himself from anything the bull might have been doing to hit him simultaneously. Okay, sorry. Just handling everything. Um, uh, Deeping at the start of the round is honestly not that bad of an idea. With Shadow Labyrinth, she can actually use 2C and 5C to keep herself uh, pretty safe versus most of the cast, um, especially uh, DP 5C. Uh, a lot of La Shadow Labyrinths actually like to go for uh, 5C start of the round, and if the opponent tries to punish it, they immediately just DP and counter hits them for trying. Uh, Yosuke manages to uh, use his uh, fantastic roll to get out of a uh, little left-right mix-up going on there. Is sweeping one of the only normals he has that'll actually break the bowl due to his low damage. Use of the X Kunai there. Um, not sure if it actually adds damage during a combo, but Yosuke gets to return retain all of his air apps. Yeah air options afterwards, so uh, he's completely safe if it happens to whiff or anything else happens. Man, I picked another character and rolled once. I was so sad. Ooh. Actually manages... I guess that counts as hitting the bull in that situation with the DP. Um... I believe the non-EX beam can actually be interrupted if the bull gets hit, even if it doesn't do uh, do enough damage to break a card. I don't know the exact rules of it, but I know uh, Kanji's lightning can mess with it on occasion. Gliding in, getting his pressure in, and manages to react to the DP online. Good on Grover. Doesn't see the AOA coming, though. That'll take it. 